Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back to um, work on our uh, art journal. Sorry if I shook the table there. Um, still having some problems with my back, but it's all good. So I did begin filming this and something happened with my phone. So this is still a work in progress for me in terms of um, the right settings and whatnot for uh, filming. But what I did do, um, yesterday we made these covers out of placemats. Um, I did sew around them. I had filmed it, but there you go. Uh, and then folded them in half. And I did a, like a finger press here, like that, which gave me a line that I also did a zigzag stitch up there as well. Because I thought it would be good to use these. Um, I like an art journal that has um, uh, like a Midori um, elastics in them. For your pages that way you can take the pages out if you want to to work on them so i did a, a sew up there as well on both of these and then i thought you know what it would be nice to have a little extra thickness for the um, eyelet that's going to go in so i put an extra piece of that canvas there um, i'm just thinking just based on my experience with using the eyelets that this might be a good way to go so the other nice thing about putting this line up with sewing is that I now know I just have to put an eyelet. I'm going to do two signatures in each. I just need to do an eyelet on either side of that line. Uh, and then we will be good to go. So let's do that on each of the books and then and put the elastic in. And then we can look at some pages. So I have some eyelets here. And I'm going to get my uh, crocodile, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I will be um, in frame. I noticed that at the beginning of yesterday's video it was a tiny bit out of frame, uh, the lower part. But I'm learning. I'm learning. So I'm going to do two like that. I've got them both. I'd say about a centimeter apart, and I didn't do them very straight, but you know what? It's all right. I'm not looking for perfection. One here, and on the other side, about a centimeter from that one. Okay. And if there are any little bits that need to be trimmed with your scissors, little threads, then go for it. Now I'm just going to take my eyelets. The reason I like to do this first is it tells me um, how that's two of them. It tells me how long my um, uh, sorry the sheets of paper should be that are going in. So let's see. Oh yeah, perfect. Great. That's in as well. We're going to be going through a little bit more thickness at the bottom. But those turned out great. And if you ever get, um, if you ever have a something that you made and the eyelet pops out, um, you can just take the eyelet or starts to pop out, just take the eyelet out and replace it. Um, you can, if it's not, you know, you're not happy about um, how firm it is. You can put a little bit of paper behind a little bit of cardstock or something, uh, but that will, that should do the trick for you. They're mostly there to kind of protect the, the circle that you've punched from um, fraying and going off. So we have that and let me see, where's my ruler? Well, you know what? I had it right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Just going to measure between those. And I go from the middle of that to the middle of this one. And that tells me that my pages should be eight and a quarter. So measure from the middle of this to the middle of that. Okay. So that's our first one. And let's do this one as well. So, how are you guys doing? I appreciate all the well wishes about my back. 
um, yeah, I've had a couple of minor back, back issues in the past, but they were very minor. This, this one is, um, when it hits, it is very, very painful. Um, and so I have to be, I'm supposed to be just taking it easy. Um, not doing like walking around the house but not walking outside at this stage which is just the worst for me <laughs> I'm so used to walking this midge anyway um part of the reason i'm not walking outside is that when it hits um you, your instinct is to just kind of crumble like your my left leg is just not wanting to uh, sustain me like I can do it uh, but I have to stand for about 10 minutes without moving with being very aware of trying to have good posture before the pain is in, is dull enough that I can walk properly uh, so it is just like I said um, not good uh, so, there you go <laughs> That's my bit of whining. Uh, really, I mean, in the scheme of things, there are so many people going through far worse things than that. So I'm not going to whine about it. Um, I'm just going to do what I'm meant to be doing and go back to see the doctor next week and then it's off to physio. All right, so we've got those in. That's great. Okay. Now, if you don't have eyelids or any of this, you don't have to do it this way. You could absolutely um, just sew them right into the signature. Um, for me, I just like the flexibility it gives me that I don't have to um, what was I trying to say? I like the flexibility of not having to uh, or of being able to pull them out. So I'm just going to go through like this before I cut it go down and up like that. And I'm just going to cut my cord. This is two millimeters elastic cord. I got it at a local quilt store. So I want to just tie it so that it's tight, but you don't want to be pulling your book so that your cover so that it's, you know, turns into an odd shape. You want it to still be able to lay flat, which it'll be able to do when it has the papers in it. And I leave a good long piece of, of cord there because I don't know um, how much paper I'm going to have in there, etc. Uh, and I might want to loosen it. I actually intuitively want to loosen it. Already it's bowing a bit. So we'll give that a go. So yeah, I do appreciate your kind comments about the change. In um, doesn't look like I did much, but I did. <laughs> so all you see is the, is the elastic up at the top there. And let's do this one as well. So... Unwind it a little bit. Go through the first one on the left. And then back through the one on the right. Come down through the one on the right. Up through the one on the, on the left. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yes, I've got the fam coming for Caesar Sunday this week. Uh, Mr. Journal Adventure is going to help me with my cooking um, so that I don't overdo it, as he says. That worked out really nicely. Thank you with that. So there, you can see it on this edge. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So... We've got those done. Now, I pulled out a whole bunch of different potential paper types. Let's just double measure these just to make sure 
um, we cut papers at the right height. So one, about eight and a quarter on that one. And again, I'm just measuring between like the center of those circles. Okay, they're both just, yep, around eight and a quarter. Perfect, perfect. All right, so this is um, pastel paper. Uh, and it's not too thick. You use the kind of paper you have. Don't worry about getting anything fancy. I'm using papers that I, I have on hand. Um, so there will be non-specialty papers as well. Um, but I just wanted to use what I have. So that's going to be a good width. And I'm just going to have to cut it. So I'm going to... Pardon me, just to fold a bunch of these. Uh, and this is also, uh, it's Canson Mitiante's paper. It's Canson and then it's capital M-I and then capital T-I-E-N-E-S. And it's, uh, I, I may be pronouncing it incorrectly, but it is a pastel paper, but it's also an absolutely marvelous paper for drawing. And it's just paper I have. And on hand, so I thought, let's give it a go. So we've got some of this. Just one second, let me grab my chomper. Oh, that's my little chomper. Where's my big chomper? Oh, here it is. Covered up. I never did put that back in there from yesterday. So, oh goodness, I don't have eight and a quarter over here. All right. I think what I'm going to have to do in that case is just take a, a pencil or I'm going to grab I have a pen here. And I'm just going to mark it rather than measure it. So that's about the center and that's about the center. So I'm just going to mark it that way my pen down and then what it tells me is I want to take that's about just inside of an inch off so I think I can eyeball that for the other pages so I'll move that out of the way but I will use these to guide um, my other papers that I might want to cut and I don't mind if it's a little bit short. I just can't have it be a little bit long for what we're doing. So just put it in here. So like I said, just use whatever paper you have available. Um, and I've got all kinds of different types of paper here that we're gonna look at. So. So what I'll do is I'll set it up so that there's um, four signatures, two signatures per book, uh, and these will be a good guide for me. So this one, I know it's going to be too wide by a fair amount. Yeah, if I cut off just that side of it, I should be good. So it's not going to work that way, but use this as my guide. I'm going to have to come in that far. I could have folded it up, but we're going to be doing, this is an art journal, so we're going to be doing all kinds of fun stuff. So this is kind of the measure of the largest page that you would want. And I'm too, too worried if I'm cutting off parts of images because, like I said, we're going to be using it as our art journal. I'm just going to double check and see if that's going to look good in there and fit. It is. Okay. Excellent. All right. 
So those are my two guides. I'm going to set them right here. Um, absolutely love this paper. So we're going to go like so. And... not an exact science but it's not bad I'm actually going to do two at once here I think my machine my machine I think my cutter will be okay with that yep and then just inside of that So there's one of these, oh, isn't that gorgeous? One of these for each signature. Um, this will go in the first signature along with this. Okay. And then I have this paper. And this is from Rachel at Roxy Creations. Love it. I think what I might do is just tear down. It's a nice um, rag paper. And I think... If I do something like that, it will be fine. And what about height? I need to take about a quarter of an inch off. If I wasn't filming, I would do this cutting um, on my larger cutter, but um, I don't have that available here at the moment. So again, about a quarter of an inch off the bottom. I hope this isn't too boring for you guys. So, so far we've got three pages for the journals. And this is a uh, very, very old paper. And it just feels marvelous. that and if you have old book page you know it doesn't have to be like vintage old just old to us oh I have some envelopes so I'm gonna put one count those as a page those are a nice size so I'm gonna have one in each these are fun one in each signature Excellent. So that's four pages each. I have some, um, this is Tim Holtz paper. And I think I want to fold this up to that height. And so I'm going to go like this and just come up to the edge. I'm not using any funny fancy tools or anything like that. Just like this. It's beautiful. So this will be really nice on the inside, somewhere in the journals. And you could use a bone folder for this, but this is great. It folded really, really well. You could cut it out here in the center if you were concerned about it being a little bit um, thick. Just a thin V, like that. If you were, if you didn't want all that thickness, so that's great, perfect. And we have another one. I think with this one, I'm going to fold it down from the top because I love that image. So we'll have an up tuck on it. Let's just see for height. There we go. That seems pretty good. And we can fold it this way just for a change. Have it on the outside. Why not? Once again, 
just going to trim this here. Could just cut these if you want it but I think a folded uh, piece of scrapbook paper in each signature is a good thing so I'm gonna go for it so this one's quite plain but still beautiful so I'm just gonna put that there at the bottom Open it up and cut this V. So I know some of you have said you're looking for the right placemat to get started. Um, it's just, they're just really fun to do. I love those placemats. They've got a lovely texture and feel to them. Uh, and this is the last. This is one of my favorite images um, and I'm going to do it this way do I want to do an up tuck I think I'll do an up tuck as well and fold it this way just I'm just looking at this as a guide because I don't mind the insects looking like they're flying downwards because that's what they do sometimes uh, and I'm going to have this on the outside because I just love that plant image. And let's fold it nicely. And then I'm going to trim this. I'm so sorry if this is super Dollsville. Okay, there we go. So far, we have one, two, three, four, five pages each, I think. Yeah. Okay. Now, I have these pages. These are from, uh, this is a color pencil paper. This is from Strathmore. And, yep, just cut those off at the top to meet the size. So these will have to be hinged. And I hinge it to another type of paper, not to itself. So we'll just see here in a second. So the ones that have to be hinged I will set aside for a second. This is good. This is the straw paper and it's a terrific height. And, and a terrific width as well. So we'll just put a piece of straw paper in each. Just like that. And we may end up, like after we have everything loaded up, we may end up folding some pages back or trimming some pages. It really depends on how we want to use it as we proceed with the journal. This is a really unique paper. It's a acrylic. It's for doing acrylics on. And I thought this would be really fun to uh, play with as well. Now, are we going to get in here? We're going to get in here. So I think if I'm, I'm just eyeballing about halfway and let's see take about an inch off the bottom right. it is <laughs> heavy duty okay well, we're going to do one at a time. How's that? 
I can be taught. I apologize, that was a very loud noise. So I'm gonna stick that over here because it needs to be hinged uh, to something. Save all my scraps. I've got another piece. So this is watercolor paper, also very, quite heavy. Um, I'm going to keep that. I love that edge. So we're going to go like that. That's a little easier to cut. I feel like I'll be able to go through two thicknesses, but let's see if it's going to let me. There we go. It does. So those will be again hinged uh, I don't have any new kiddo stories to tell you I will do um, after um, Sunday Caesar Sunday for sure Music paper. I love to use a bit of music paper. Gonna fold that back on itself a tiny bit just because I can. And like so. Use my measuring tool here. more because I just like the look of that. And then fold it again. It just doesn't wiggle too much when I'm cutting and such. Put that down here. Okay, now I have a paper bag. I'm just going to cut it here. Save this for something else. And cut it at the seam. out even more. We'll cut this seam as well. It's not perfect cutting, but we're okay with that. <laughs> now, on the inside that's kind of nice so I have it folded out on one end this folded over so I think that'll be a tuck spot and let's see where's my guide I moved it back okay so there's that I think we fold it more if we need it so that's going to go in one signature, the signature that didn't get the music paper. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Fold it back on itself. So it's a great way to use, you know, something that you might not otherwise use. Um, a paper bag. Okay. 
Excellent. And so we'll save these. And then this will go in a signature that doesn't have um, the music paper. And we've got some coffee stain paper. save this for making um, the spines for the papers that we need to join. And then I've got a couple of pieces of craft paper. I have to say it's very stiff. So I hope it'll cooperate. So this will be great for, for art journaling on. And that's just need to take about a quarter of an inch off the bottom. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Apologies, guys. So that goes in the side with the music paper. And then this one as well. I'm purposely not coming right to the edge. I just want to do something a little different there. Like that, and you can take your bone folder on any one of these. Um, there. I think it's a little less noisy if I put the, the spine part up here first. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for each. All right, and then I need to do something to attach to these two. I think there'll be 10 pages in each. All right, so I'm going to cut a bunch of spines. And I like to use coffee dyed paper, and I just cut them like an inch wide. Um, if you happen to have a piece that you haven't used, or that's, that's scrap, I do have them, I just, I'm not in reach of them at this moment, and I, I dare not stretch. Um, yeah. Okay, so those, and they're all going to need a little bit cut off the bottom. So I'm just going to try and cut like a quarter of an inch or so. Off the bottom. And we'll get started with our, ooh, there we go. We'll get started with putting the spines together at putting two pages together. Look at me, I'm 33 minutes. Woohoo! We're going to keep going. <laughs> um, all right. So I like to fold these like that and have all my spines ready. Now, you don't have to use the same paper for each of these, for sure. You could absolutely uh, use, you could use a piece of fabric that you have handy. You could use a piece of lace. You could use washi. Although, I find um, if you're going to use washi, I would put washi on both sides of the piece uh, of the papers because it, I get nervous. Um, sometimes if you put like a needle in washi or something, it will, it can just tear right down. So I just am very careful about that. So we'll go like this. It's a smaller one. I'll leave that till the end if we don't, if the others, if I need more. Okay, so a bunch of spines. I think I need, um, let me see what I have here. Just looking if I have some paper. 
that's not big enough. We need another sheet, another piece of paper to stick something to, but it's all good. So these are the acrylic sheets. Um, and then I think I'll stick them to, this is a piece of the um, pencil paper. So all I do is, you can do it one of two ways. Um, I like to put the glue, this is our glitter glue, just on the inside of the um, hinge, that's the word, not spine. And I'm just going to put this down about an eighth of an inch from the crease, just like that. And then I fold it over. This way the page that's facing you doesn't have any um, of the spine on it. So, and so we'll put the acrylic page on top of that, like so, just like that. And there you have a hinged page that we can use in our journal. So we've got that, I'll do it again. Grab our hinge, put our glue down. I would definitely use um, pretty papers if I was doing it for a regular journal. Like I would use digital paper um, for the hinges. Uh, it's just it just adds a nice pretty touch. And I like using our glitter glue for this because it is very reliable. And we'll put that down on top. And there is our hinged page again. Okay. Do another one. glue down I've been watching this series on Netflix um, it's called fool me once I'm a I, I love British programming anything British I have watched all the greats like Vera and all the Agatha Christie's and um, gosh uh, Shet Shetland and there's all kinds of wonderful ones. I, I I actually have BritBox and I think Acorn TV as well because I watch British television. Um, it's my favorite go-to uh, for non-news related entertainment. Not that I think news is entertainment, but you know what I mean? Non-news related viewing, I should say. So, yeah. So, big fan of that show. Um, probably finish it tonight. Really well done. Do you have any recommendations? I love the mystery. love the British show. So, I'm going to wager that there aren't many that I don't I haven't already watched. Um, where is the last one? I think I ended up putting two acrylic pieces together that last time. These are two pencil pieces, but you know what? That's fine. It doesn't matter. I was just trying to vary it a little bit. And put this on here like so. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. So we have our watercolor pages. So I think what I'll do, what do I have back here? I think I have some more, I have some other music paper handy that I could use. I'm just thinking whether or not I have a different type of page, but 
No. All right. I'm going to grab a music book and grab a couple of pages. This is beautiful old music paper. Is that one? Oh, that's two. Perfect. That's all I need. So I'll put Bach back and grab my cutter one more time. So what I'm going to do is put it in here, cut it down, put these in here. So they're going to attach to the other side of the, this um, wallpaper paper. Wallpaper. Watercolor. Did I say wallpaper? Oh my gosh. What is going on? All right. Excellent. So let's get our, our little hinge here, our new spine. Set this on here. Grab that little ball of glue. Put my finger there. This is fun. It's got handwriting on it. I don't know where we are for time, but I will. I'll check here in a second. And um, so there we have our hinged watercolor paper. Kind of like a mass make on uh, hinging papers. I guess I could have just put one one of these journals together and uh, done the other off screen. Sure hope it's not super dollsville for you guys. And then put our glue on. You could use glue stick for this for sure. I'm just a huge fan of our glitter glue. There you go. Get all that writing on there. I love that. Makes me very happy. All right, we're just about there. And we can put it, put one of them together anyway. And then talk about what we do next time. My glue down. Just cut this off here a little extra long. And then we have this last one. And I think that's giving me 10 pages per. And you know what? We can add more as we go. And also, if you do, you're do, you doing something and you, you don't want to take your journal with you and you just want to work on the page on its own, you can take the pages out, which I really, really like. I like that versatility for an art journal. Probably a good thing I'm sitting in one spot for this length of time. And we'll put that in there. Like so. Excellent. All right.
terrific. I'm really happy with these. Now, um, let's put that in my save my bits. And grab a journal. And I just want to double check the time. Wow, 45 minutes. It's the longest video I've ever made. <laughs> okay, guys. We've got two signature two piles for signature one and signature two for this journal. And I have the same for the other journal. And we might put that together too. Who knows? All right, let's see. This is going to be signature one. And what do we want to have on the outside? I've got I might use that because it's nice and firm. Um, let me separate this into something that has an art page on it. Okay, or plain. Plain, those are all plain. That's got a little something on it. It's a lot of plain pages, so we're good. We're good. Okay, I'm going to put um, this blue page next and then I'm going to put this gorgeous old paper sorry I hope I'm in frame and then I want to put this one with the uh, acrylic I think I want to put this envelope in here and then we'll put something on it Well, we'll do it this way in paper bag. The, the fold on the paper bag will be on that side. That's quite wide, so hopefully it'll be okay. Um, music paper. The um, straw paper. Beautiful florals. And is this frame in the inside so that's one signature now that's quite wide but we'll see i'm going to just put it in we could sew it together and i'm inclined not to uh, as a signature i'm inclined to just leave it in there and then we could sew it uh, if we want it when the journal was done so that's one signature, and like I said, it's coming out a little bit, but I'm not sure that I have a problem with that. <laughs> plain, plain. I think I want this to be the first page, this with the yellow. So we've got that. I want this which is uh, an art page I want that there and put this one here this is an upper up yeah paper there. You know what? I'm going to put this there and then this one. That will be the center of my signature. Oh, nope. Do mine brown on brown. I think I do mine brown on brown. But I'll put the brown in here and put the envelope I'm going to put the envelope right here. Like that. Okay. Now, put that here. Like so. So those are our signatures. mold this a little bit and that is our 
art journal. Now, I probably will go back and just trim so that I don't have the big lot sticking out. It's not, it's not bad. Um, it's not bad, but that's what we have. And so I'll probably trim this piece. Um, I'll leave this because, you know, you can't trim that. Uh, and I may need to fold in things a little bit more. But that essentially is our art journal. There's quite a bit in there and it's given us all kinds of opportunity. You could sew, like I said, the signature before you put it in, but I like the idea of being able to pull it out if we want to when we're doing um, anything artistic. And then we can stick bits in here uh, as well. Okay, <laughs> that's it guys. That is us done for today and I will trim these and put them together as well. Um, so these are the, uh, the bits for this particular art journal. Like that. So thank you so much for watching. This is the longest video I've made. I do apologize if it got a little rambly, but um, Sometimes you got to ramble when you're making art. Okay, guys, thanks again for watching, and I really look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.